ESPN is making a mockery, a fool of themselves by their topic choices. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. If it's my show, I decide what I want to talk about. But Ashley Nebel, uh, she has a different take. Let's listen to her talk about ESPN. Go in, girl. ESPN, the shit that they do for ratings is insane. So there was a headline the other day. Mind you, the Lakers have been out of the playoffs for a month at this point. Yet ESPN always finds a way to put the Lakers on a headline or put LeBron on a headline. Now I understand the ratings go up when you talk about these things, but the topic at hand that I'm referring to is if Stephen A. Smith can score a bucket on LeBron James. Bruh, I don't know about you, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care to see that. Right now, we have the playoffs going on, and you want to talk about if Stephen A. Smith can score a bucket on LeBron James? You're that out of ideas and creativity that you can't come out with something more. Okay. Now, I assume she's the soccer player that I keep Googling, and the only name that pops up is her, but they spell it different. I hope that's her, but whoever she is, ooh. She done drew a line in the sand. What side of the fence are you on? Okay, let's talk about both sides. When I first heard her take, I was like, duh. Like, yeah. Like, ha, <laughs> ha. You get it. Um, the crazy thing about mainstream media production staffs is typically it's a younger cat in there. Look, I'm 49, so ain't going to be no producers really older than me. But 99% of my producers were younger than me. Some sports enthusiasts who realized quickly he wasn't going to go pro, probably wasn't even going to play college, and decided, hey, let me find this lane. Got in that line early and became who they became, right? The coordinating producer, associate producer, PA, whatever it is. But they're the ones that handle a lot of the topic choices. Unless they're Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, <laughs> Skip Bayless will wake your ass up at 3 in the morning tomorrow. Here's the whiteboard of topics. What do you want to talk about? You pick what you want. He'll be like, all right, we ain't talking about that. <laughs> We talking about this. Dak, Cowboys, LeBron, Dak, Cowboys, LeBron. Anything else? You want something else? Oh, okay. You want more Dak? All right. That's the way it goes with Skip Bayless. Everybody else is kind of open-minded. Uh, but you know, Stephen ain't going to get his in too, right? So the thing is, this young enthusiast who comes to you who does so much legwork, so much legwork. Y'all ever go to a concert? Y'all know any artists out there? I hope y'all do. They don't do the work <laughs> like they put the song out and then they come to sound check maybe and then they perform that's life they ain't doing the wiring <laughs> uh, the 128 track mixer oh, a little more trouble they ain't doing all that they showing up turn up the bass check out my melody that's life so when you show up you're ready for the meeting and you got your topics you're hotter on this one you like this one way more than this one so okay let's go there but then when you get all the topic choices and after a while, the rigmarole, you're like, okay, where's the seasoning salt? <laughs> this is fine, but where's the seasoning salt? Where's the nitrous button, you know? And you can always hit the nitrous button and you're going to get ratings. You're going to get love. You're going to hit this button and Dak, hit this button, LeBron, hit this button, Lakers, hit this button, Cowboys. That's why they were craving for that Knicks-Boston series. They didn't want to see Indiana. They're like, oh, you know what I mean? So that's how the game goes. Now, nothing wrong with that to me. That's their model. That's the economic model. How do we get more people to pay attention? Sorry, you got a problem with what we're doing? You should have a problem with what they're doing. They're getting more interested in the Cowboys. They're getting more interested in LeBron because they're the great, right? Great team or a great brand, if you want to say the Cowboys. Suspect team at times, uh, but great players. Dak, suspect at times. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, LeBron, great. Stop playing. Um, point being, we are interested. They're going to serve our interests. Simple as that. You don't like it? The power of boycott is in your hands. Good luck with that, though. I love when a fan does this. Oh, I'm not watching the NFL no more. And? Bye? <laughs> y'all got to know when y'all got power and when y'all don't. If you mad at the NFL, you mad at the NFL. And good luck telling all your friends. And I know y'all thought y'all got over when Kaepernick said it. And then y'all start kneeling. And everybody said, we ain't watching the NFL no more. Shut up. You told your boy, your boy said, yeah, yeah. Okay, hit me when you get home. All right. Click.
Y'all didn't watch. Y'all didn't watch nothing but NFL during that boycott. Shut it. Here's the thing. You don't have power when you say that. I ain't watching sports. I ain't watching ESPN. I ain't watching his first take. Okay. A lot of people are. That's that side of the fence. So if it's Stephen A. show, he want to talk about his ego or talk through his ego, or he want, I get a bucket on Bron. I mean, anybody get a bucket on Bron. If we take it out, we play at half court, me against LeBron. I could get a bucket on LeBron. You want to know why? I doubt he going to guard me at half court. Now, if he does, I'm not getting a bucket at all. If we go check, if I check LeBron at half court and he decide to pick me up at half court, I guarantee you I would not get a bucket on LeBron. I won't. And I'm 6'4", 280, and can't play much basketball, but trust me, 6'4", 280 is some good physics. <laughs> I could try and bully, that sucker big. He blocking all my shots, I ain't quicker than him. What I got? A lucky, that's why I said don't guard me at half court. If he don't come out here, he had the three-point line doing that X defense. Ha! Ah! Prayers. Ha! Ah! Yeah, I told you. That's Stephen A chances too. If he pick up Stephen A, and I'm more athletic than Stephen A. Stop. If he pick up Stephen A anywhere on that court, it's right. Nobody. Look, look, look. Y'all need to stop disrespecting pros and really stop disrespecting greats. Y'all ain't get nothing. Y'all ever see that video of a snake, a cobra? Like this. He's like this. That's a rattlesnake, right? All right, so cobra's quiet. And then it's a kitten. A cat. A kitty cat. And then the cobra went, and that cat, they slow mowed it. That cat said, oh, oh, stop playing <laughs> and slap the shit out that cobra. You know why? Because cat reflexes are quicker than snakes. Now, look at a snake. You doing that? Yeah. Maybe that one guy you seen in that video from India, not you. <laughs> That's the difference between a pro dude, a pro dude, a bench warmer. And you, he's the cat. Now, the great, the king of the jungle, LeBron, the king, and you, just a garter snake? <laughs> Good luck. Okay, now let's get on the other side of the fence because I like what she said. Man, why y'all making us watch this bullshit? It's playoff basketball. Yeah. Y'all got to know that in this world, man, we make the choices and they respond to the choices, but then they feed us certain things that we only get to choose from. <laughs> Rewind that if you didn't catch it. Basically, we could be like, man, I don't like this buffet. I'm going to the next Golden Corral. Okay, go ahead. Now, what if they serving the same thing? Ah, you mean FS1? Oh, Dak, LeBron, Cowboys. All right, forget that. ESPN. Oh, Dak, LeBron, Cowboys. Oh. Stephen A, Skip. Oh, it's like two of the same almost. Want to know why? You want to know where they get this intel from, this knowledge? Deep metrics, deep analytics into your behavior. I don't want to watch that shit. That's why, you know, new media is trying to do it a different way, but you still got to talk about it. They talk about players and games. We talk about players and games and, and them. <laughs> I like that. Shoot, that's what it is. But you have power. But not enough. Y'all have power, but y'all ain't together. So you're going to be watching Stephen A. Can he get a bucket on LeBron? And I don't know how that segment rated, but in terms of taste, yuck. What? Stop. But then at the same time, it might have rated. And more importantly, even if it did rate, is that the worst topic in the world? You like, yeah. I'd rather you talk about Halliburton. I'd rather you talk about how they gave up the lead, five point lead with 15 seconds ago. Like, you know what I mean? Do you? Do you really? Or you got LeBron fatigue? Or are you starving for more LeBron? That's the thing. So it's just the rub of that, right? They're trying to read you while only giving you certain things to read. <laughs> so it's so weird. It's a wild thing. I get it. I see both sides, but I am with her. I don't like topic choices on mainstream media anymore. I, maybe because I was drinking the Kool-Aid. I liked it. But even, no, I didn't. Cause that's why I, part of the reason I left. I was like, dog, we ain't talking about nothing. I couldn't talk about race anymore. Couldn't talk about like class and stuff anymore. Why? Cause my partners were trying to get paid. So they were like, look, the money is at the end of hot takes. 
Not this shit you talking about, Wally. Way too deep. Way too deep. I was like, all right, y'all swim over there. I swim over here. Let's get out. All right, pool big enough for both of us. Let's roll.